So most open workouts are in shopping centres or perhaps at the back of big venues. This one's not, it's in the middle of a desert. And I mean that. And it's in a purpose-built arena that holds two and a half thousand. Good to see you. Yeah, man. I like the hair, bro. It's Thank fucking you. really thrown me off. Oh, no, seriously, it's a proper different look. That's it. It's like your cousin or something, man. <laughs> trying to get Mike Tyson and Moses together. Don't tell them all, because if you tell TNT, no, they'll, they'll have a thousand people. Are you in with this, mate? You with TNT? Yeah. You know, sometimes when you're at the open workout, sometimes, sometimes fighters do a load. Tyson Fury once did 12 rounds on the pads. But both with Wardley and Adelaide, they gave away nothing. Well, where else are we doing? Uh, Moses. You know, it's non-stop tonight. You're working me like a dog, Charlesy. Oh, no. And who's in the ring right now. Tyson Fury will be in the ring in a second. We've had every other fighter come through. So that was Nganu on the pads. In fact, giving away a little bit more than some of the pros have given away. And considering Nganu's never had a fight, that says a lot. I liked what I saw, to be honest. Big Francis. It's been a fight that people have been talking about. Now we're nearly there. What does it feel like? Feels great. Feels fantastic. I'm very excited. And is it obvious to you that boxing is trickier and more technical than maybe you thought? It's definitely technical. I always knew that boxing was technical. Um, it's hard, it's different. I used to something else. I have to come into this one. Even my body to adjust into this is a different animal, right? I've been talking to fighters since about 1983. Some of them have been brilliant. Some of them have been legendary. And when you talk to Francis Ngannou, you just know he's classy. You know he's a good human being. And you know his heart's in it. And if he loses, no problem. The Gypsy King himself. You know what, Sonny boy? Go on, John. Go on, Tommy. Come, big lad. Shirts off, everybody. Here we go. Tyson, TNT, TNT, Tyson, TNT. You ready? Tyson's here, the shirt's off, that's Great. always, it's always a good sign. Shredded. I'm like an Adonis in shape, ready to smash someone's face right in. And that person is Francis Ngannou, the nicest guy in the world. Well, he's not the nicest guy in the world on the night, I'm going to chin him. See me in that ring? Yeah, the movement? Uh, I was moving like a 22-year-old Tyson Fury. I'm like back. a teenager. I'm back. <laughs> so Tyson Fury there in... Well, it's obvious, actually, that he's got a bit of edge about him. It's obvious that he's trained. It's obvious all those stories we've heard are true. I like that. He's kind of got sort of an agitated edge. He's ready. What more do you want? I've only got in last night. You've been here a lot longer than me. Haven't seen a lot of the place. I'm looking forward to seeing what this place is like tonight. Where we're going tonight is unbelievable. I mean, I'm going to take you in. I'm going to smuggle you in tonight. Yeah. I'll smuggle you into the venue and I'll show you. I'll be easy to smuggle, Ponte. No, don't say that, son. No, no, no more heightist jokes, okay? <laughs> Three press conferences, one massive table, and the stars are here. Just, just, come, just come this way, let's have a little wander over here, I want to show you something. You know what we're going to do here, we're just, what we're going to do is just going to walk, right? We're not going to pause, we're going to try and get in. So do you want, do you want to come see the ring? Oh, come, sir. <laughs> come on, Carl. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> that, Carl, don't go any closer. That's the stage yeah. above the ring. See the black line? Yeah. So the rings, it's it's like, it's the rings below, yeah. So here we look, boys, look, turn around. You can't, it's, it's going up as we talk. Oh, yeah! <laughs> oh, man. Have you been in it? Yeah, good man. You all right? I got in Tuesday. Is it? Yeah, you are. Right. Yeah, fucking good, man. You look good. Yeah, I don't know, man. Dude, gotta just enjoy life, man. Just the same good. old family's oh, out. Well, let's have a chat in a minute. You're the first man in. They're all on planes. Joe Kalzaki, Evander Holyfield, oh, really? George Foreman, Joe, Ricky Hatton, no way, Frank Bruno. They're all on planes. Why this would be my only visit to the VIP. <laughs> Amir, Amir's going to live in it on Saturday. We're going to do a five minute interview. Then we're going to get evicted. I mean, I don't know if you know this, but you know, you know, who, you know who called Tyson first to say, I've got a fight deal for you. I, I'm going to say, I'm gonna, I, I know who it is. Who's that? Yeah, it was. <laughs> <laughs> so we're already here because so, so, of you. The ring comes up. 
eight, oh, yeah? 26 feet comes out of the ground. Really? Shh. Yeah. yeah. And what comes over it, Eminem plays, a, sta Eminem. a stage slides. Wait, Eminem? Yeah, sta yeah, yeah stage He's slides over the ring, yeah. Stage slides over the ring, a massive stage. So the whole ring surrounded by a oh, round right. stage. Eminem's in the ring. Really? Eminem, no, Eminem's on this platform. Shh. After he okay, sings, sorry. he gets off and the, and the platform Wait. goes back, okay, rolls back. And up comes 26 feet down a ring, and in the ring under one neon beam, Michael Buffer. You got it from me, brother. You got it from me, Amir. Tyson's coming through now. Space, please. We got a really nice moment between Mike Tyson and Moses having oh. a chat with one another oh, did they? over there. And did, and did you record it? Yeah. Under my belt now, fire, but I've only turned prime January. Yeah, well done. That's what we want. Just in the chaos and the mayhem, you get Moses Atama, 18 years of age, to talk to Mike Tyson, who turned pro at 18 years of age. It's like a fairy tale, that, isn't it? I'd love to have been part of that. <laughs> it's, too, it's freezing, it's, too, it's windy. I can't believe it, mate. They put us in the desert. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> have you been inside the arena yet? I've not, I've not managed to go oh, inside not, yet. So you've not seen the ring, the no, magical ring? Can't tell me about it. Ring. Can't tell you about it. I'm sworn to secrecy. You've already said too much. Okay, listen. <laughs> the ring is 26 feet underground. Yes, brother. On top of it is a stage, and on that stage is Eminem. It's no, midnight. No yeah, 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 no, 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 it's not a bad story, it's not a bad story. Most, I've got to ask you this, brother, I heard, I heard you bumped into him, I heard you spoke into Mike yeah, Tyson tonight, yeah, yeah. how was that? No, so basically, I was just going to go and sit down in my seat, yeah, yeah. doing my business, because I'm not, re I wasn't really trying to fanboy him, yeah, I didn't want to be that person, yeah, so obviously I went to go and sit down, and it was like, Francis, obviously my manager was like, no, you're coming, I didn't even know what to say, because I had no intentions to say anything to him, you get what I mean, and then I was like, yeah, but I want I want to choose quality opponents over quantity of opponents, because yeah, of I don't want to be keep fighting bums, he was like, yeah, but you can learn from every fighter, I said, I didn't see it that way. The maddest thing, right, is that people will instantly believe that you set that up. Yeah. Which yeah. is not the case. So true. What we got here is we got Tyson Fury and his four or five people just getting ready. Edgy, getting ready, because this is all part of it. This is not necessarily round one, but it's close enough to round one to, to, to me to be considered part of it. And in comes Ngannou now in a blue outfit with his, his group. And the reigning WBC heavyweight champion of the world, known as the Gypsy King, Tyson Fury. So they finally came to the stage for the last head-to-head, -head, for the final press conference. We're going to see what Francis has got inside of him. We're going to see if he's got the guts to stand and trade with a heavyweight champion of the world. It might be a little weird, but I really also want to thank Tyson Fury for taking the fight, for taking the risk he's got, because there's a lot of risk here for him too. He might go to sleep on Saturday night. When the eyes of the world are watching Tyson Fury, that's when you see the special Tyson Fury. Out cold. I think you said out cold. Stand up, friend. Out cold. 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 That's just the end of today. The weigh-ins are tomorrow. The fight, of course, on Saturday. It's weigh-in time in Saudi. We're all here, Frampton's here, Dan Hardy's here, I'm here. The sun's going and Woodsy has arrived. The show can start. Please. Make way, please, make way. The one thing that might be influenced, if we had another 20 minutes we'd go into it, is the dirtiest fighter in the world officially, Mike Tyson, he's proud of that label, he's been training in Ghana. <laughs> now that's a cocktail, baby, trust me. To one side, please. He's the former UFC World Heavyweight Champion. He is Francis and Ghana! The 
Fury finally stopped clowning, stopped joking, and started talking seriously about boxing. And how it's the game, the art, where you hit someone and you don't get hit in return. That's what we're expecting tomorrow. It may be cagey for a round or two. That's what I think. We saw the real Tyson Fury tonight. What a week it's been. The fight, well the fight start, there's lots of them. But you can watch them all on TNT Sports box office. I've been Steve Bunce, I've been in Riyadh. I love the desert, show me a camel, I'm a happy boy.